Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What should be included in a lease agreement? Well, let's dive into the world of lease agreements. A lease agreement is a legally binding contract between a landlord and a tenant. It outlines the terms and conditions of a rental property. Firstly, a lease agreement should include the names of all parties involved. That's right, the landlord and all tenants should be clearly identified to avoid any confusion down the line. Next, the lease term. This is the length of time the tenant agrees to rent the property. It could be a year, month to month, or even week to week. Each lease term has its own set of rules and regulations. The lease agreement should also clearly state the rental price and due date. It's important to know how much you're paying and when, right? Additionally, the lease should detail the security deposit. This includes the amount, the purpose, and the terms for return. It's always good to know when you can expect your money back. A description of the property is also vital. This should include the address and any specific areas included in the lease, like parking spaces or storage areas. Next, repair and maintenance terms. Who's responsible for what? This section will answer that question. Finally, the lease should include details on lease termination. What happens if the lease is broken? What are the penalties? This is crucial information for both parties. And there you have it. A comprehensive list of what should be included in a lease agreement. But remember, laws vary by location, so always consult with a legal professional before signing anything. To learn more, check out these links which you can click in the description below, and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe, and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.